welcome to the CEL chatbot version 0. This will be a quick demo of what we have implemented so far for what will eventually be our CEL support chatbot. At this time, the chatbot is able to have some very basic conversation with the user and provide some Mobius support. Simply type your question and the bot will do its best to provide you with a relevant answer. So how does the chatbot work? Initially, we created a list of questions that a user may ask and their associated answers. This data was used to train the chatbot. When the user types a question, the chatbot will parse the words and attempt to find the question answer pair that matches this the best. Where possible, we have created links to take advantage of already created resources. For this question, we would expect to receive some information on how to remove a user from a class. Hmm, now that's odd. Why did I get an answer related to gradebooks? There are two possible reasons. Either there isn't enough information in our initial dataset that answered this question, or the answer shown matched more closely than it did with our desired answer. It looks like if our question contains the word access, we get the feedback we were looking for. Now you may say, that first question was very reasonable. How do we get the chatbot to provide the correct answer if that question is asked again? In its current state, we would do this by rewording our original questions and answers, as well as adding new questions and answers as new questions arise. Additionally, we can track how well each answer matched with the question provided. Here you can see a log of how well specific answers match with questions that were asked. If we adjust our threshold for how well an answer has to match to 70%, we can instead prompt the user for more information. However, our final version of the chatbot will collect feedback from the user on the relevance of answers provided and feed that back to the chatbot to continue its training. While the chatbot is still in its infancy, we are happy to be able to showcase it at this point and will continue to showcase it during its development. Special thanks to Brandon too for his hard work on this tool so far. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.